Okay. So I I like to when I do my makeup, right? I, I'll go weeks without doing my makeup. I'll just walk around like this barefaced. However, when I I feel like when I go a long time without doing it that when I finally do it, I go like above and beyond and do all this extra stuff, all these multiple colors and like those aren't everyday looks for some people. For some people, that is your everyday look depending on like where you work or, you know, if you're a makeup artist yourself, you can pretty much do whatever you want. You guys get what I'm saying. So I have these really like light brown eyes and I feel like I don't do brown makeups enough I feel like I don't do like nudes and just colors that are more so fitted for my 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 eyes my eyes so we're gonna go back to basics and we are going to uh we're going to just get this going and we're going to see how it looks to go back to basics. Um, if you do not have brown eyes, you can adjust your colors according to your eyes. Where is my windshield wiper brush? That's what I call it. It's, I don't know the name of it. Y'all know I don't remember everything, but I remember most. I remember the important stuff. Where is that brush? Will this do? Yeah, that will do. Okay, so, primer. I need new primer. Lord knows, I need new primer. So, I tried to go live and I couldn't for some reason. Um, so, I gotta fix that. Because I know I've gone live on um, previous YouTube channels before. So I don't know why I shouldn't, whoa, overload. Um, I don't know why I shouldn't be able to go live on this channel. I just dropped all my makeup, by the way, so that's okay. A lot of that makeup in there is extremely old, so that's okay. All right. Oh, I had more over there. Let's just fix it, y'all. See, I could edit this out. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. Because I like to be authentic. I am not a makeup artist by trade. This is just something I do because I have to end up doing my makeup at some point in my life. Um... You know, and it's something I do usually more than once on a weekly basis. And I know, like, I like watching people do their makeup from time to time. You know, I do. And I like to chit-chat and just, like, not, it's like, I like to, do, I like to keep it real when I do these things. Like, this is not a makeup tutorial. If you came on here to watch a makeup tutorial, I'm, I'm, I'm terribly sorry. You're probably going to hear a lot of, uh, opinions and just non like um cliche type things like I'm not a professional makeup artist I uh I just like to do makeup because it's fun and it helps me like relieve anxiety depression and some of those negative emotions that we get from time to time okay so getting back to basics for me is important so just gonna get some of this brown right here and just put it up here and I never liked wearing browns my cat is meowing outside the door oh he's such a good little baby He normally needs to be by my side 24-7. So when he hears me in here, I'm going to tell you why he gets like this. All right, so there is a time in my life when um, a few years ago, before starting my own business and stuff, 
um, I was really depressed and I would like lock myself in my room and just wouldn't leave the house a lot. I would just go to my job at the time and just, you know, punch the clock and rarely see my family. So I would go live from time to time when I was feeling really sad. I would go live on Snapchat or whatever app was popular at the time. Um, and I found that it did relieve some stress, but you know, my cat, GJ, who's like, you know, family, really, he's a family member. He's not just a cat. Um, he would be like, what is she doing? I can feel that she's sad because animals can feel like when we're sad and whatever, he's scratching at the door now. Um, he just wants to be included. If you could just give me a second, I'll let him in. He's adorable. Um, so yeah, he would hear me like just talking and thinking, you know, oh my God, what is she doing in there? She's in there like going crazy, talking to herself. Like Lord knows what cats think. We don't know. And he would always come in and just like sit on my lap the whole time I was going live or whatever, you know, he would just like be there for me or he'd be sitting behind me or he'd jump up like on the back of my chair or on my shoulder. He's done that. Like he's just unbelievable. Um, and he's just so cute. He's just amazing. And he does it to like make me happy, to be completely honest. Like he's such a great breed of cat. I'm not quite sure of his breed a hundred percent. Um, but he's definitely got something else in him because I've owned a lot of cats throughout the years. I don't have, like how that looks. Let me see. I got to blend over here better. Um, yeah, I've had a lot of cats throughout the years growing up and whatnot. And he is like no cat I've ever had before. He's just awesome. He like makes everyone in the ha in the in the home happy, everyone in the family happy, and things would not be the same without Gigi. That's for sure. So I, as you can see, I had some fallout, and um, I'm just gonna brush it to the side because I'll probably do some sort of something. The issue with this is I did put a base down, so I'm just gonna have to blend, 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 blend to make that look the way I want it to look because I just feel like it's just not where I want it but that's okay that's okay so yeah I'll eventually probably let my cat Gigi in he is just awesome 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 so I am cleaning this brush in between uses I feel like that's really important um so that's what I'm doing right now yeah, as soon as the cat starts knocking at the door again, I'll let him in. If you hear any children yelling and being disrespectful, those are, that's my son Earl. He is playing online games with my older son. And they like to duke it out from time to time because they are boys and they do that. They do that. And the advice my little one is giving him right now is solid advice. But do you know how hard it is for a older sibling to listen to their younger sibling? And mind you, my, uh, my younger one has been playing video games. Some of y'all may think this is horrible. I don't really give a fuck what y'all think. Um... He's been playing video games since he's been about avidly five, five years old. He partly learned to read through video games. He is like, I don't know. He's way better than me. I'll have like, I'll struggle getting through certain points and he can just like do them. No problem. My child, my youngest is young. I mean, when I was his age, I couldn't even beat Mario. So there's that. Do you know I still have not beat Mario 1? Y'all can laugh. That's fine. Oh, now they want to play on dad's profile. Because God knows he's the best gamer in the world. What son doesn't think that about their dad? I will say about children and role models and all that, like, uh, you know, 
if you have a little girl, she's going to look up to her mom most because, you know, that's her mom and she's a girl and she's going to learn to be a girl through her. Not to like be a girl, but like she's going to learn how to act in this world as their mother does usually. Like that's their role model. That's who we're supposed to look up to, right? And sometimes that doesn't work out because like, you know, our parents just aren't there for us or they're not the role model. They didn't, they're not role models, um, even though our young minds want them to be. And boys, it's the same thing. I grew up with all sisters. Um, so having boys is just like, so so different but boys truly do look up to their dads so like dads I feel like you know yes moms are important but I feel like the family structure whether you're co-parenting divorced whatever your situation may be I feel like the family structure is very important you know you know just because you know you may have an issue with your significant other um, doesn't mean that you have to raise your kids in a toxic way, you know, because at the end of the day, those children are looking up to at least one of you, if not both of you as role models. So it's like really important for people to remember, you know, especially like when you're new to parenting and you think that, you know, yelling around your infant doesn't affect your infant. Use your brain. Of course it does. I'm avidly listening to make sure nothing crazy is going on out there. Yeah, I'm like kind of helicopter mom and I'm learning to like give him his his time, you know, because I can't say that I had a helicopter parent. And what I mean by that is a parent who constantly is watching what their child is doing. It can also like, you know, I really looked into, because I really, really like to learn about myself and the the traits I find myself, the, the traits that I have and the patterns that I have and like where they come from and why I do this this way. Like I'm really into learning about myself and up oh, there, 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 there you go again. There they go again. Oh, goodness. And then the funny thing is, they'll be over it. I like to let them just like work it out themselves because they tend to. Okay, so I just remember that I put all my makeup in my handbag. I just don't have the slightest clue where that is right now. So we're going to step out here. It's going to get loud. I heard some yelling. What's going on? I can't join. What? Okay. Well, I'm I on a. I'm... Okay. Well, that's not nice. Let's not name call. Okay. Um. Have you seen my pocketbook? No. No, John. That's stupid. Man. Be nice, you two. I'm leaving. Oh. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> I distinctly remember hanging it here. Hmm. Okay, I found I found my eyeliner and the rest of the makeup I need for this look. Uh I am sorry about any interruptions I just literally had to um what's the word lecture <laughs> my younger one a little bit you know it really saddens me right now um like when I see the kids acting toxic like the adults do when I see that it breaks my heart because the kids are the future and if we even want a future for, like, this planet, if we want humanity to go on, we really have to, like, allow the kids not to be toxic and not to just be evil and bad. And we have to teach them really to be good. 
And when I hear kids bullying kids on on a gaming platform and just treating each other like like toxic adults do in uh, a, a Twitter thread going back and forth, like I, I can't allow my own flesh and blood to be a part of that because that will be the end of humanity if we can't all get it together and realize that we are one, okay? That we are one race. We are one people. We are all God's creations. And if like you cannot, if you wake up with hate in your heart in the morning, it's just like, yo, you need some soul searching. It, it, it. So when you hear the kids being toxic and it's like, I know where it comes from. I know where it comes from. Um, you know, but that's, you know, and that's why we say like, you know, it, you may not think that something that's going on with a, a classmate of one of your kids matters, but like that affects your child because children act like the children that they go to school with. They act like who they're around. And I will tell you, like, sending the kids to school, it's like a gift and a curse because they learn so much about themselves. It gives them a little bit of independence, a little bit of freedom away from mom and dad. It gives them social skills, you know, that just parents cannot teach. Um, it gives them friendships that will last a lifetime. But then it also exposes them to those toxic, toxic kids who can't help it because they're being raised by toxic people, generations of toxicity, generations of just like repetitive negative cycles. And like, I'm trying to be, you know, I'm trying to be the, to, to just raise my kids in a way like they don't have to be toxic. You don't have to insult somebody to feel better about yourself. Why don't you compliment yourself instead? Okay. So like when I see my little one acting toxic and that's not the type of household we have, like, yes, we have arguments here and there. What me and my husband do, but what, what couple doesn't like, if you don't, what are you freaking lying for like ice? Oh, the, what is it called? The immigration? Couples argue. Normal American couples argue. But that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the toxicity, like the gossiping, the, oh, just never having anything good to say about anybody. The unwillingness to compliment somebody. The unwillingness to... to accept the fact that people can change and to better people. Um, what, what you may define as better people. I believe we are all equal. We are all God's children. Some of us have just strayed a different way. Okay. Um, I'm telling you, it breaks my heart. It breaks my heart. Just seeing the younger generation fall into the same trap a lot of us did and why do we think in a negative mindset because we were taught to think that way by the people who raised us okay we were taught that so I feel like my role as a parent is to break that. Toxicity and negativity is something that can be taught for generation upon generation upon generation. And I don't care how much wealth your family may have accumulated while being toxic and negative. Okay? Because money is the root of all evil. What I'm talking about today is peace of mind and literally saving humanity. Because if you cannot see... The divide that has been created in our country over the past 15 years. You've had your head in the clouds. We will not, I will not allow them, whoever wants to in, instill a divisive 
society, not with her, not with our children. It starts with them. It starts with them. Hi, little kitten. Hi, Allie. So, if you come from a cycle of domestic violence, if you come from, you know, just uh, those type of beginnings, like, that just aren't could, well, it starts with you. And then you pass it on to your kids that it continues with them. And, you know, and as far as the kids playing online and, you know, that's something that the Internet, I wasn't born with the Internet in my bedroom. Um, you know, I had Barbie dolls. I had like, I remember I had this Barbie doll water fountain back when we lived like in Brockton, Mass, which is this awesome home of the champions. Marvin Hagler's from there, Rocky Marciano, Box and Champs. But uh, I had, like, this awesome Barbie, like, water fountain, waterfall thing. And that's what I had in my room. I didn't have um, a computer or the internet that could just lead me into a world of just chaos. Um, the internet is a gift and a, and a curse. It's like you can learn so, so much on there. But you really got to dig deep. Um, and you can really connect with people on there and be positive influences in their life rather than being a negative, toxic person in their life. It's like you can be a hater or you can be a lover. You can cheer someone on through their success or you can just keep hating. But I will say one thing. It's the people hating. They seem to go harder than the ones that love. Uh, a hater will continuously, like, in regards to social media, and if they could do this in your personal life, they probably would too. They would love to check in on you every single day, just waiting for your demise, and that's what they do on social media. They're just, like, checking in every day, waiting on your demise, you know, just, like, they're checking out your shit more than you are, more than the people who love you do. So if anything, like, the haters will really uh, give you the attention that they don't want you to have. So let them keep doing that. Let negative people keep being negative and toxic. That's all they know. It's not our job to fix other people because the truth of the matter is we can't fix other people. Um, little kitten. No, we can't. We can help other people. We can help other people get there. Yes, we can. Little kittens off camera. Meowing. As if into protests, what I just said. All right, let's just see if I can do something right here. I don't like that. Y'all see that? That's that area I put way too much. Um, or is it the shadow? It's the shadow, y'all. I'm crazy. That's why I got to get, like, I'm working on getting some vanities in here. Making it look really, really nice. Because I, uh, I deserve it. Now we're going to do a quick highlighter. Quick, 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 quick highlighter. Right here. Closest one. This is just so good. This. If y'all know what this is, y'all know what I'm talking about. So I'm just doing a highlight today. I'm not doing anything else. I never really feel like y'all can really see the true way the highlighter looks. Even like, I've had vanities, I've had ring lights. I'm not using one today, but... Because I'm trying to get you to see the natural way this is going to look. Because I feel like the ring light's just like, boom, You know? And then when you try to do anything that I just did, you're not going to get it. And you're going to be like, what the fuck? She's a fraud. And that's not the case. It's like, not most people don't have fucking ring lights and, and studio construction in their, uh, studio equipment in their home. Okay. That's the look. I'm feeling it. 
Um, probably some touching up could do up here, but that's not the point. Um, all right, that's it for today, y'all. Okay, I'm just fixing up my look a little bit. That's just, um, yeah, I like it. Back to basics, brown, simple look. As you can see, I have very brown eyes. Um, so if you have a similar eye color, um, this would work well for you. Obviously, maybe you can blend a little better and we're not going to be critical. Um, if you have hazel eyes, you could maybe do a green, blue eyes. Y'all can get away with so much. Um, but blues really and purples look great on y'all. All right. So I hope y'all liked my little video schmidio talking about some things that are pretty pertinent. All right, y'all. Bye-bye.